What if you could turn the stock market into your own money printing machine? In this video, I show you how we have done that and how you can do it too. There are three things that we as humans need. We need food, clothing, and shelter. Campbell's Soup provides the food. I like trading in companies that provide products and services that we need in any kind of economic environment. But what I really like to do is trade in those companies when the odds appear to be in our favor. Here you see the daily and weekly chart of Campbell's Soup on the day that we enter this trade. On the left chart, you see that the date is April 6. Campbell's Soup had recently bottomed out around 41.5 per share and then pushed above both the green 50 and red 200 moving averages. Looking over the weekly chart, I noticed that over the past several months, there had been a lot of buying pressure in Campbell's Soup. In fact, only one week of the past several months was a red down week. Now Campbell's Soup was trying to push through the red 200 moving average. It had already pushed through the green 50 moving average on this weekly chart and it had done that on decent volume. Notice that the candlesticks were marching higher each week. They were making higher lows and higher highs. Because of that, I believe that if Campbell's Soup did pull back, it would most likely find support at this green 50 moving average on the weekly chart, which also corresponded to both the green 50 and red 200 moving average on the daily chart. That meant that there would be three moving averages that could potentially serve as support for it, and they were all located in the same area. That made me feel very comfortable selling this cash secure put option in Campbell's Soup. Now fast forward to today, and as you can see, Campbell Soup has continued its upward momentum to the point where we could actually close this position out early if we wanted to for around 15 cents per share. That would actually lock in a really nice return of over 26% annualized non-leveraged. This is a position in a company that sells soup. How great is that? Making trades in multiple time frames line up to put the odds in your favor of winning is a great way to consistently win in your stock and option trades. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we do trades like the ones I showed in this video, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you really want to take your stock and option trading to the next level, it's vital that you know how to use different option trading techniques. In the video series at the link above, I talk you through how we use leaps and poor man's covered call options to generate awesome cash flow and return. Those are some of my favorite options trading tools that I use, especially in low or non-dividend paying stocks. So if you want to brush up on your options trading skills or learn a new one, please check out that video series. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.